I am a former serving soldier in the British Army. Uh, I was in one of the elite cavalry regiments and um, over the last sort of 20 years or so I've, I've seen the bigger picture about everything basically. Um, I've seen how our governments have uh, twisted things when actual their bigger picture was to do with money and oil. Um, I was proud to serve my country and my queen. Uh, I went to um, Persian Gulf War in 1990, uh, finished in 1991. Um, we was told to liberate Kuwait, which um, to me that was fair. Um, I was happy to, you know, to go along with that as a young young man in my prime, going to help people. That's one of the reasons why I joined the forces anyway. Um, but now I can see what it was all about, and to be fair, it's just escalated from then, and um, it's got worse. Uh, I'm ashamed actually. Um, to be fair, that I even took part in any of this. I'm disillusioned with the way the country's going. Um, I love, I love the UK. I've always lived there. I was born here, um, and now I just see people wanting to take it over and make it theirs um, with their own rules. When, to be fair, we're happy with the rules we got. We feel free. Um, but this last few years has been a nightmare um, with people wanting to, to leave their homelands and to invade other people's lands. It might not be like a war, but they're coming and uh, they're taking over. They're wanting to bring their own laws and for years as well, I've uh, been led to believe that a white man is a racist or prejudiced but in actual fact it's the other way around I've realised this over the over my lifetime really um, when I think back as well uh, when I was schooling in uh, North London and uh, I noticed uh, it was when when people from Pakistan first started coming over to be fair and uh, you know what, we got on really well in the playground, played together, played football, uh, but you know what, I noticed, now I think back, is that after school you never ever saw them, never mingled in with the community, ever, and uh, it sort of like struck me that, to be fair, these people don't want to be part of our lives, they don't want our culture and I'm, I'm actually hacked off the way things are going and the government have betrayed us all let us down and I'm not happy at all about it but anyway going on um, you know from when I served during the first Gulf War um, thinking I was doing the right thing uh, I remember after the 100 hour war uh, we were sat around waiting for orders. We thought we was going north to Baghdad to to finish Saddam Hussein off, which, to be fair, would have been the right thing to do then. But they left it. And there's one thing I always, I, I always remember towards the end was, I remember seeing tank transporters full of prisoner of war. And you know what I noticed about them? They are old people. They were children of, I don't know, teenagers, young ch teenagers. Uh, they were scared, they were hungry. And do you know what we did? This is how bad and racist we are. All the crews around us scrambled to our vehicles and we got spare rations and we gave them to those people and they were so happy for that. So I just can't understand why people hate our race because it is them that are the racist. I don't give a damn about religion, especially now. I've got my beliefs, I believe in them. They've got their beliefs, they should believe in them but not force it on people. 
I'm fuming about this. Anyway, going on from 1991, around December 1996 or early 97, um, my unit was deployed to the former Yugoslavia, Bosnia. And um, it was when the, the Serbs were so, the so called bad boys. They were massacring Muslims. Yeah, they were. We went over to sort this out because the United Nations didn't have a leg to stand on. They were restricted to using their weapons. But anyway, we went in as implementation force to bring peace to that area, that region, to stop Muslims being massacred, which they were, bearing in mind the people that went out there to stop it were Christian. I was part of that and it tore me up what I seen, what they were doing to them. But you know what? Over this last few years, the way we're being treated, the way they think that we're nothing. I'm just, I'm so angry about the way they are, the way they just come here, and think they've got the right to do what they want. No go zones. What's that all about in my country or any European country? No way. It's not going to happen. It never happened. But I've been told to stop going on about it, but it plays on me every day. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's what they want. Tear families up because it's the way a lot of people are starting to think now. Sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of it. Anyway, we, we go to help these, uh, these people. Whether it's to do with their religion or, or what. I don't know. I didn't even want to look into it. I just knew we were going out there to help people. Well, now I think back. I think I owe the Serbian people an apology for actually going out there and stopping what they were doing. I didn't agree with it at the time. It, it, things I saw, it, it, it made me throw up. It broke my heart. But you know what? I regret going out there and doing any part of trying to make peace in that area. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, my country's only thing that matters and our governments have let us down big style. I'm just sick and tired of it. In fact, I'll tell you what, I've already uh, thrown one away and then this is what inspired me to make this quick video or this video. Um, I'll just go and get the pie. Right. Start with this. This here contained the Q8 Liberation Medal. As you can see, it's empty now. I've, uh, I've basically thrown it away. Um, I don't know if you can see that, that's their, their shite on it anyway. Um, that was given to us by the, the Q80 leaders basically. Is it a king? I don't know, I don't give a damn to be honest with you. They're nothing to me. For liberating their country. Well, do you know what? Your country. Then the Saudis decided to give us a medal. For liberating Kuwait. See that? It means nothing to me. You people mean nothing to me. And see that? Disgusted I even tried to help. And you know where that's going? In the bin. Our government presented us with a Gulf War medal. The clasp that you see here means I was in the theatre of war during that 10 day war. 
funny thing is the UN medal next to it, that was a Cyprus medal, for dividing or keeping peace between Cypriot Greeks and Cypriot Turks. Well, to hell with you lot as well. Right? You see that lot? I'm disgusted with my government. I gave up my prime life thinking I was doing good. At the end of the day, it was a joke on us people that were proud to serve our country and bring peace. That is going in the bin. Oh, and this little baby here, I don't know if you can see that. It's a NATO medal. I, I was awarded in Bosnia. Stopping the Serbs, well, stopping them all, killing themselves. But where I was, there was a lot of Muslims that were, and uh, we stopped a lot of them from being slaughtered. Do you know what? It's a freaking joke. That's going in the bin. I did start destroying stuff, but uh, I got it together. I mean, I can still do it now. Um, this one's practically ripped up now. This was from the um, Saudi King. In fact, I tell a lie, that's from the Q80. That was. Can't read the writing because it's just squiggles. What the fuck they mean, I don't know. I don't really want to know. It's been signed up the corner there by some idiot. Um, do you know what I think of that? And the part I took part in it, I regret it now. So I, you should. We should let them just kill themselves at the end of the day. They're evil. Right. That's what I think of you. you morons. I'm sick and tired of the whole thing. Governments. Arabs, you name it. And this one, this was from the Saudis. See that? Oh, no, 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 no. Basically says, um, <laughs> date I weren't even born in 1411. Believe that. I was born in 1966. How outdated are these people? I don't know. Anyway, with the help of God, be exalted. We, I'll try and pronounce it. I don't want to insult anybody, but we, Fahad bin Abdulaziz Al Saudi, or Al Saud, ain't got me glasses on, King of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, having been informed of our decree number 5127, dated 24-9-14-11. My God. Regarding the innovation of a medal known as the Kuwait Liberation Medal and based upon what the public interest may dictate we decreed the following first the Kuwait Liberation Medal is to be awarded to those from Saudi Arabia Arab forces Islamic and friendly forces who participate in Operation Desert Storm and the liberation of Kuwait second this is our decree is to be passed to the appropriate authorities for execution. That's your favourite word, isn't it? Fahed bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, King of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Well, do you know what, King? Get that, eh? Hey? You're a bunch of morons and you wasted my life. And as far as I'm concerned, we need governments that are strong and believe in our beliefs and not have a load of idiots coming over telling us what we can and can't do, what we can say, what we can't say. It's about time people stood up and stopped pussyfooting around these idiots and start putting them in their places. I feel I've betrayed my forebears. And do you know what? The proudest thing I've done in the last 20 years or 25 years is vote Brexit it's a start it's not much but it's a start and I'm going to do what I can to get our country back 
anyway that's my rant over and um, peace be with you